Hi, good morning, guys. Welcome to another episode of Let's Go Dining with Keola. Today, we're here at the Palau Pacific Resort at the Coconut Terrace, where we're going to enjoy the Sunday brunch. So come along with me, and let's go dining. Good morning. Welcome to the Coconut Terrace restaurant. Uh, would you like to join our Sunday prime rib and champagne brunch? Sure. Come on, guys. Let's go dining. Hi, Motor. Hi, Mitutau. All right, it is a good morning because we're here at the Coconut Terrace at Palau Pacific Resort. And Moto is the assistant manager here. And she's going to take us around and show us what they have for the Sunday brunch, right? Malungil. Okay, all right, great. So what is what is the Sunday brunch? Tell us a little bit about it. Okay, well, um, we here at the Palau Pacific Resort thought that we could uh, do something on Sundays, every Sundays for our local and our in-house guests. A place where you can go, have some late breakfast, have some champagne. And so this happens every Sunday from 10.30 until 2. So it's just... I know, uh, something to do for our guests and uh, a place to go for our local uh, local uh, visitors. Oh, that's awesome. So, you're telling me from 10.30 in the morning to 2 o'clock uh, in the afternoon, there's going to be all the all this food that I see here already. It's going to be available during those times. Every Sunday of the year, sir. Okay, so <laughs> I, think, I think the important thing is to go ahead and get started. But what's interesting, guys, is um, they have a chocolate fountain here. And I know we're supposed to do this last, right? Because it's kind of a dessert kind of thing. Yes, yes, but uh, we can do it whenever. By all means, start with the dessert. I can't stick my finger in there. No, can no, I? please. <laughs> okay. I'll... All right. Um, I'm really eager to try one. Can I uh, try one? We have a fresh strawberry. We have bananas, marshmallows, dates. You pick. Oh wow! So I just pick one up yes, and stick it and in the chocolate. Yes, and then you stick it in the chocolate. And... You sure I can't stick my finger in there? Okay. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Almost got her. All right, so I got a piece of banana here, and I'm going to stick it into the chocolate. Fountain, yes. So all you kids that are watching this show, make sure you bring your parents out here so you can dip your fruit in chocolate early in the morning, okay? Oh, yeah, it's really good. Perfect way to start off a brunch. Thank you, Motoy. Okay, my mouth is full with chocolate and banana. Um, now that we've done the chocolate fountain, can we go to uh, see the rest of the brunch? All right, guys, come along. All right, guys, we're here at the brunch station, and Moto is going to describe for us what we have here, and she's going to introduce to us some someone who con pretty much controls the brunch uh, station here at PPR. So we'll give it over to Moto. Moto. All right, uh, this is Tony. <laughs> Kagidia breakfast chef. Uh, um, over here we start with the uh, prime rib. You, you uh, get your choice of uh, prime rib uh, and or um, a shrimp satay, so which he does here for you. And uh, occasionally people would want uh, eggs, and he can do that as well. Fry eggs uh, for 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 latecomers. Oh, I see. So he's he's manning the uh, the prime rib station, and then he. Uh, makes eggs to order yes is eggs there to order. anything else that he makes to order like omelets or anything omelets uh sunny side uh sunny side up uh, over easy scrambled okay. eggs all right um guys i heard that tony makes um this uh pancakes into shapes and forms and does it by freehand it doesn't use a mold no. is that true tony yes. yes that is very true yeah he does sharks stingrays uh, Really? People, yes, this is Tony. He's known uh, all over the world by our guests. Yeah. In fact, guests come first time in Palau and they look for Tony. They look for Tony? They hear about him. He's, he's famous. You're he's famous. famous. He's the pancake Thank guy. You. All right. He's the breakfast man. So. Okay, that's yeah. good. Hey, um, so maybe you can whip us sure. up uh, a batch. Yeah. Okay, you're going to demonstrate for us right. uh, your talents, right. your culinary all right. talents? All right. All right, guys, let's uh, watch Tony as he does his thing. Girls, February. It's mostly dolphin pancake. I do this. All right. Yeah, and then like this, and then <laughs> this, and then this one, and two. Dolphin pancake. Whoa, that really looks like a dolphin. Yeah, and then I can. This second one is any kind. Let me say this one is uh, mostly two. Is it gonna be monthly? You know? 
Now, how long did it take you to uh, master this? Okay, less than three minutes. This is depending on how the tune back is going to be. This is a manta. Oh, it's a manta ray. Yeah. And then I will do the song with us. It's going to most people like it. It's especially the divers. Huh? Yeah, the, the diver is a. Uh, That looks like a shark. Yeah, I did a shark. Hammerhead shark. Yes. Wow. You're a truly talented, Thank my friend. Thank you very much, yeah. All right. Went up to this, uh -huh. guns, and then I used the replay, and then with a decoration with what they like, chocolate or with strawberries, or with, a, with a, some uh, green. You want to do it? You yeah. See it? All right. I want to see you plate okay. it up. Now, how do you flip that? I'll thing? do that. There you go. Wow. <laughs> okay. All right. This is the one top. The manta ray. Yep. Manta. This is the one Here you go. Okay. You want to know what's the color? The next. Yes. All right. It's, it's gonna be like this. Plate. Plate it up. Yeah. And with a full color. This. So you've, uh, you're doing the decorations with the chocolate? Yeah, the chocolate. And what, what is that now? Icing? Icing. Just regular icing? Car, yeah. Boy, the kids must love you here, huh? All right, that's right, yeah, yeah. And the parents must love you back. And this is, um, let's see what it is. And we got a little powdered sugar. Yeah. Yes. Okay, guys. So we have Tony's uh, dolphin pancake that he made in like a couple of minutes with uh, chocolate syrup and um, and uh, icing. So come on down, bring your kids down, and and let them try this. I think they'll really like it. All right. So let's go on. I gotta go find Moto. I, I think I lost her. So I'm gonna give this back to Tony, and then uh, we'll get back to Moto. Thank you, Tony. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, I found Moto. I got so uh, busy with Tony and the dolphin over there that I totally forgot uh, to talk to Moto. But she hung around with us, and uh, she's gonna. We're gonna continue on with the brunch. So uh, come on with me, okay? All right. All right. So, so what do we have here? We have eggs. We have bacon and sausage uh, for okay. for brec uh, breakfast for people who will wake up a little bit later because it's Sunday. Uh -huh. We have uh, sausages, quiche. This is a Ooh, breakfast item. Quiche. Yeah. This is um, tomorrow red rice. We have some island style cooking. We, we like to put in our uh, buffet so our guests, our international guests, have a taste of what the islands uh, have to offer. Oh, that's All good. right. So we've got a mix of Western, mix of island. Um, and some healthy options and for some our guests. Healthy options? Yeah. You mean to tell me that bacon is not healthy? Bacon and sausage? That is healthy. Yeah, I, I thought it was healthy. I thought, <laughs> I, I thought it keeps the doctor away. Bacon and sausage a day keeps the doctor away. That it does. It? <laughs> okay, what else do we have here? We have fresh sashimi. Over here we have fresh local tuna sashimi. We have a tom tomato and a mozzarella cheese. This is a very nice light uh, dish. Mm. That's uh, similar to a mozzarella caprese because I remember we go to an Italian restaurant they give you Fresh slices of tomato with mozzarella and basil, and drizzle it with olive oil yes, and a little true. bit of balsamic vinegar. This is vinegar. Uh, something similar to that. So, yep. I think I'm gonna give that a try pretty soon. <laughs> <clears throat> Mussel and salsa. Okay. Yeah, over here. Mussel and salsa is. Uh, are these raw mussels or are they steamed and then chilled? They're raw mussels. So uh, raw. Yes. And then. There we have. Uh, and then you put the salsa on top. That's right. Okay. So we've got some mussels. Okay, and what what do we have over here? Over here we have um, green salad with your choice of dressings. We have um, chicken galloquin uh, rolls, uh, 
Oh, so another island uh, cuisine. Chicken Caligrian rolls. Have you had that before? No, I haven't. I got to try that. You got to try this try one. that. Crab and uh, broccoli salad. And this is a Hawaiian style uh, macaroni salad. Okay. Pineapple. <laughs> Hawaiian meaning pineapple and spam. <laughs> <laughs> Truly Hawaiian. <laughs> All right. And what do we have here? Okay, this is our noodle station. Uh-huh. So we give uh, our guests the choice of ramen okay. or uh, udon noodles. Okay. So they pick their, they pick what they want in their soup. Uh -huh. Then they um, dip put it, it in, in the hot water to warm it up. Okay. And then put soup. And then put the soup. Instant and then there's all the all the condiments. All you can eat uh, noodle. So another. Um, really? All you can? You know, I can eat a lot of noodles, right? We have a lot of noodles, sir. You're this not is... gonna kick me out if I stay here for no, from no, 10:30 no. to two. All you can have until two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> you heard that guys, I'll be here from 10.30 uh, uh, to 2 o'clock next Sunday. Okay, and uh, finally? We have two uh, choices of juices at, okay. the, at the buffet, uh -huh. of course for breakfast. Mm -hmm. And we always have orange okay. because we have champagne. Yes, this oh, is what I was looking at. So what, what, what do we have here? We're gonna we have um, champagne. All right, can I just drink the champagne straight? Out of the bottle, no, sir. No? Okay, no. That's, That's against the law. This is our... Um, and we um, we here at PPR encourage and we'd like to uh, um, promote responsible drinking. Okay, so. so that's... And that's me. I'm, I'm a responsible <laughs> drinker. I drink responsibly. Very good, so, very so good. So I'll be here again. Um, all right, so this is fantastic. Um, I you, think... Uh, would you like me to pour you one? You know what? Sure, why not? So uh, you put the juice. And I'll put the champagne. I'll put that back in there. Cheers. Um, cheers. You can't drink, can you? No. You're working. Cheers, yes. Well, I'm, I'm working too, but this is part of my job is to do this. So I just take that off and... I think I'll start my breakfast off with this. <laughs> and then the chocolate fountain. Thank you very much. All right, guys. So uh, now that you've seen the food and you've seen the talents of Tony, uh, let's go to the kitchen and check out where all the action happens and uh, let this food uh, come out here for our Sunday brunch. Okay, now before we go to the kitchen, I know you guys are at home going, wait a minute, there's something missing. We got the mimosas, got all the food. Um, there's something missing. There was a salad. So what is it that we were missing before we go to the kitchen? Ice cream, of course. Ice cream. Dessert. Dessert, of course. So what, what do we have here? We have uh, vanilla, chocolate and vanilla ice chocolate cream. Chocolate and vanilla ice cream. Right. Okay, and we take these things and scoop it in. Right. Then, right. And then you uh, and then get, we to get our toppings that we can top it off with. And sauces, cherries, almonds, um, uh, strawberry. This is blueberry sauce, chocolate and caramel. Caramel. <laughs> caramel. Oh, I, I love caramel. <laughs> Hey, what is that over there? <laughs> Try some. Try some. I'll stick my whole finger in it. Okay, so uh, you're supposed to look that way and I was supposed to steal the caramel, Sorry. but I can't fool you. Um, any other desserts? Of course. Uh, right this way, please. Okay. So besides the ice cream, we have, what are these things? These are Danish pastries. Danish? Danish pastries. So they're not Japanese? They're, no, they're Danish. Uh, they're light pastry with uh, fruit filling. Oh. Fruit, chocolate filling. You sure, it's, you sure they're not Japanese? Okay. Or Korean? No. Apple. It's, it's Danish. <laughs> Danish. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. What else do we have? Small cakes like brownies, and this is peach tartlet. Mm -hmm. This is a fruit uh, kato. That's fruit cake. Fruit cake? Yeah. What'd you call me? <laughs> oh, this, this is the fruit cake, not me. Right over here, we have gourmet breads and rolls. Uh, Ooh. From this is this is all from our um, bakery, the hotel's so bakery. So you have an in-house bakery that makes all these uh, desserts and breads. That's right. Wow, that's fantastic. Okay, so I guess now we can definitely go to the kitchen and check it out and see what's going on back there, right? All right. Thank okay. you. Thank all you right. for coming by. Oh, don't say bye to me yet because after I get out of the kitchen, I still gotta eat. We'll see you in a bit. All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right, guys, we're here in the kitchen of the Palau Pacific Resort, and uh, this is where the whole action happens. So we're here with uh, sous chef Bailu. Uh, he's a Palauan guy, and uh, he's in charge of what's going on here. So we're going we're gonna, to 
we're going to uh, go with him as he takes us around the kitchen and show us what, uh, what he does to make the brunch happen on a Sunday morning. Okay? Uh, Chef Bailu, good morning. Hey, hello, nice to meet you. How are you? How are you? And this microphone's for you. Okay. So, uh, can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing uh, back here in the kitchen? What does it take for you to put that breakfast or that brunch out? Uh, Yola, this is a big operation because, you know, it's a hotel. Yeah. So, we pump out about three, two to 300 meals uh, a day. Oh, okay. wow. So, what we're doing right now is uh, making the stock for the soup. Okay. Uh, as you see, I have the uh, lobster head. Okay. We basically, what we're going to do is put it in the oven, uh, roast, it up, roast it up. Okay. And then we put in the, the big pot over the kettle. Uh -huh. And then we'll make a, a large stock. And uh, that stock we're going to use for soup. For the sauces Whoa. and everything in the kitchen. So, uh, you're gonna take what, what is on top? Is that tomato paste on there? It's a tomato paste. Then. And then you're gonna you're gonna broil it in the oven first. Yeah, we're gonna put it in the oven and brown it. Okay. And, and then, then you put, put it in, in the stock pot stock and pot. boil it and. Yes. That's my favorite part of the uh, lobster, by the way. Mm. And yeah. you see, as you I see here, it go that way, but it's a big production area. Yeah. It's the like whole kitchen brigade. Some of the guys in the front, in the back. And everywhere okay. and these are the people responsible for all the food that you see out there oh okay yeah. i see i see so uh can we can you introduce us to some of your staff okay. who work very hard to uh make these things happen yes uh we have corvin uh he's the uh he's the guy who's uh, in charge of the uh, cafeteria okay make cafeteria stew uh, also he makes stock for the uh, right now he's working on the stock okay and over here we have roy he's the, he's the japanese chef, japanese chef. Uh, we have uh, pedro uh, he takes care of the uh, brunch that you saw uh, Japanese sous chef Tobias is the guy responsible for the Japanese uh, dishes that comes out. I've been to Japan and they have these for making That's the sushi, sushi yes. rice, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And for some reason, um, Japanese don't want their sushi rice anywhere but in one of these tubs. Exactly. They said it uh, does something for the flavor of the rice. Yes. Or so this is not for me to sit in and take a bath. Oh uh, no, not for sitting in and take a bath. Though. That's. Uh, <laughs> I think it's a traditional thing yeah, that they want to preserve and maintain, that it should be done a certain way. Okay. Guys, now you see it. Authentic style, whatever cuisine that they have, um, they pretty much use the original ingredients. And as you can see, they use the original um, equipment to make their food here at Palau Pacific Resort. Okay? So uh, let's go to the other side of the kitchen and we can meet some other people. Okay, Richie, here's some of the herbs that we put in that uh, stock. What I just put in is uh, parsley, and that will give the uh, perfume to the uh, stock, you know, give it the flavor and also the uh, nice uh, aroma to it. Yeah, I see. So, it, after it's been, after you put that tomato paste on, okay. goes in the broiler okay. and it browns for a bit, then it goes into the stock pot with uh, some seasoning, um, water, and some parsley. And uh, you boil that down to, to come up with the, the lobster stock. Get a nice rich uh, flavor out of it. Oh, nice stock. And then we make uh, uh, stock for everything. Okay. That's very essential in the kitchen. Yeah. To make soup, make sauce from this. Uh, so do you, do you uh, make uh, some kind of lobster bisque here? Yeah, that's for lobster bisque. Oh, is this for the lobster, lobster bisque? bisque? So the lobster bisque is basically a, a lobster, lobster stock. creamy lobster soup, mm. uh, yes. which is, uh, again, one of my favorites. I think I have a lot of favorites, but... I'm surprised you know much about food. Well, you know, I, I, uh, I've been in the restaurant business for about 15 years. Oh, I see. Okay. So I've worked in the kitchen. Um, I was a bartender. Uh, I was a prep cook. Oh, I did right. it all. I even washed dishes sometimes. So oh, I seem to know a little bit about I think that's, that's a good way to start. Uh, yeah, yeah. And we're going to go uh, follow sous chef uh, to the back of the kitchen. Oh, to the other back of the kitchen. And meet, um, I believe we're going to meet some of the bakers. Is that who we're yes. meeting? We're going to meet. Let me introduce you to the butcher. Oh, the butcher. Yes. Butcher. So, uh, your butcher's name is? Uh, Marcus. Marcus. My name is Marcus. Okay. And, mm. and uh, so, Marcus? Yes. Uh, can you tell us what you're doing here? I'm uh, preparing a sashimi for the buffet. Uh -huh. This is a yellow pin. Yellow pin tuna? Then, yeah. And we line them and soaking up. Napkin too. Oh, to, to get all the moisture? Yeah, so it oh. keep on fresh. Okay, so you're making a nice big plate of sashimi. Yeah. This thing was probably caught not too long ago. Yeah. Yeah? And you're a Palawan? Yeah, I'm Palawan. So, Palawan making fresh sashimi that was caught probably in the backyard. Okay? Yeah. So, thank you very much. And uh, we're going to go meet some, some of your co-workers okay. and see what they're up to. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, well, I'd just like to say that most of the brigade here are all Palawans. 
mostly Palauans, maybe except one or two Filipinos. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, uh, you know, these guys been here for a long time. Oh. And they, pre uh, you know, they do a good job, uh, really do a good job. That, uh, that, that's important to know that, uh, mm. that you guys uh, mm. uh, serve local produce yes. and uh, local ingredients yes. and you have locals working in yes. the establishment. So mm. it's a good thing to know, mm. you know, it's, a, it's, it, it's truly but, uh, a truly local hotel, mm. yes. catering to uh, both mm. locals and tourists alike. That's right. Okay, Yola, this is the uh, pantry uh, stuff. I want, you to, I want to introduce you to these uh, people here. Okay. First of all, we have, uh, introduce yourself. Ah, uh, Okay, so that, so that means that, you know, in addition to be in addition to being like a hundred percent Palauan mm -hmm. or locally uh, run, yes. you do community outreach programs. Okay. Yes. That's and, right. Uh, you help uh, aspiring chefs and students to to mm -hmm. to do something yes. that they want to do. Oh, I see. And who else do we have over here? Kulas. Kulas. How are you doing, Kulas? Oh, good, good. And uh, tell us what, what, you're, what you do here. Oh, right now I'm making a mixed salad. You're making a mixed salad? Oh. Okay, so you're kind of like a prep cook. You chop things yeah. up and then get them yeah, all ready. Right. All right, guys, this is, uh, see, remember that the, uh, the, the chocolate fountain that I had the uh, chance to eat the banana with the chocolate? This is where it comes from. So they're over here chopping some fresh fruit up. Uh, she got some grapes. Um, here's some fresh strawberries and apricots and, and uh, looks like honeydew melons. Um, so now we know where it comes from. So it tastes even better, I think. All right. So uh, we're going okay, to go to the bakery. All right. We'll go to the bakery and then we'll show you where the breads and the desserts come from. Okay. okay. <laughs> we have Alan here. He's the guy who's uh, him and uh, his uh, staff. He has about uh, four staff with him. Uh -huh. And they do all the bread, all the desserts. Everything comes from here. Oh. All right, so could you tell us um, what, what is it that you're doing here? Yeah, uh, now I'm making a cheesecake, a uh, big cheesecake. Big cheesecake? Yeah. So uh, are these? Uh, this is uh, the crumbs. This is the crumbs for the cheesecake? Yeah. yeah. The How come they're in heart shape? Cake. Oh, so you, you use the cake for several different yeah, items. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see. So you put the crumbs down here, you put yeah. the cheesecake mixture on top. And then it goes into the refrigerator to set. I mean, uh, to bake. You go into the oven to bake, and then you set it in the refrigerator, or yeah. you let it cool. Let it cool and then put inside. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Okay. And what what are they doing over here? Uh, butter cookies. Butter cookies. So this is the first time that I've seen actually the uh, restaurant making their own butter cookies yeah. for for uh, some of their ingredients. All right, chef, you are running a tight ship here. It's a pretty uh, tight operation. Uh, uh, compared to other uh, outlets that we have outside, uh -huh. I, mean, I want people to get perspective of what we do here. Okay. Here is the real hotel and you know, this is how the work are done. We require a lot of staff and these people are professionals. They uh, do know what they're doing. So we give them a little bit of guidance every now and then, but uh, most of the time they do it themselves. They do a pretty great, great job. Great. And uh, I think all the success is uh, contribute to this guy, the brigade. This is the heart of the kitchen, mm. as you may know. Okay, guys, now that you've seen it, uh, you see how all the food gets prepared and it gets out out onto the floor um let's go back outside and try some of the food that uh, these guys have graciously made and uh we'll see you next time all right guys this is the end of the show that means i get to try some of the food that we've been talking about all morning long so while i listen to taga and enjoy my mimosa i'm gonna have my brunch we'll see you next time on let's go dining with Keola. He's not a thing that I would change Cause you're amazing Just the way you are And when you smile No one stops and starts for a while Cause you're amazing Just the way you are Good morning guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Go Dining with Kyola.
Today we're here at the Palau Pacific Resort at the Coconut Terrace where we're going to enjoy the Sunday brunch. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Hi, good morning, Moto. Hello, Mr. Tom. All right, it is a good morning. I'm here at the Palau Pacific Resort at the Coconut Terrace, and I'm standing next to this chocolate fountain, which already makes my day start off very well. Um, we're here for the Sunday brunch, right? Are you going to show us around? Yes, so we have a Sunday brunch uh, every Sunday champagne. 